In the previous video lectures, uh, we analyzed RC and RL circuits, but we analyzed them in a limited sense such that when T is greater than or equal to zero or greater than zero, there were no uh, active uh, independent source uh, in the circuit. Okay, so we are technically plugging uh, or killing all of the sources and we are looking at an initial condition role response of the system. Since these are passive elements, when T is going to infinity, Everything is going to state-state conditions, such as voltage is going to zero uh, of the capacitor and current of the inductor was also going to zero. Now we will analyze the case where we have a step response-like uh, behavior, such that uh, when T is greater than zero, there's an active source or independent source acting on the uh, capacitor and inductor. Okay, so let's look at the circuit. As you can see, we have a voltage source, okay, here. We have a resistor, we have a capacitor, and when t is equal to zero, we close the switch. Okay, and it means that when t is greater than or equal to zero, uh, the capacitor is affected by this independent voltage source, which is a uh, voltage of Vs. Okay, so the goal is computing V of t, which is the capacitor voltage. Okay, good. So uh, let's close the switch. And it's given that the initial condition of the capacitor is equal to zero. So before t is equal to zero, capacitor is in discharge condition, and uh, we will try to analyze the behavior when it is uh, charging behavior. Okay, good. So when we close it, let's uh, write in KVL, okay, here. Okay, let's, this is the current. Okay, minus Vs plus I times R, okay, plus V is equal to zero. V is the capacitor voltage. Okay, that's good. So V plus, what is I? I is equal to C times D V over D T times R is equal to V S. And it is simply equal to R times C D V over D T plus V is equal to V S. Okay, so this is our differential equation. Okay, so the main difference is now we have a particular solution because we have a forced input. It's not an unforced or homogeneous solution. We need to compute the particle solution, combine it to homogeneous part, and come up with a solution. Okay, let's remember the homogeneous solution. V of t is equal to, if you remember, c times, okay, e to the power minus t divided by tau, and tau is equal to rc. Okay, this was the homogeneous solution. So what we need to do is, we need to find, this is homogeneous, find a particular solution, Vp of t, then V of t is equal to V homogeneous of t plus V particle of t. Okay, good. So let's uh, remember the uh, circuit. Okay, so this is tau times V dot plus V is equal to Vs. Okay, so this is a particle solution. Uh, so we will try to find the particle solution on that. Okay, so what is the particle solution? Particle solution, if you remember from differential equations uh, courses, it looks like the input. Okay, so this is the basic idea. So what we do is very simple. We assume that the particle solution is equal to a constant, and your particle solution should satisfy the differential equation. Okay, what is the derivative of constant? It's equal to zero. So A is equal to Vs. So particular solution is simply equal to Vs. Okay, so uh, let's look at this. So at uh, t is going to infinity, capacitor voltage will be uh, constant, of, of course, and it will uh, act like a short circuit. There won't be any voltage acting, any current acting through the capacitor. So it should, uh, the voltage should be equal because there is no uh, voltage on the resistor. So it makes sense. So in that sense, V of t is equal to Vs plus some c, which will compute using initial conditions, times e to the power minus t divided by tau. So how we compute c using the initial conditions? Okay, so V0 is equal to Vs plus c. Okay, that's we all know that because e to the power c is equal to, should be equal to 0. So c is equal to minus Vs. So if we write V of t, it is equal to Vs times 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau. Okay, let's look. As you can see, uh, this is my solution. Okay, good. So this is the solution for uh, this circuit. Okay, so we have Vs. Okay, it's the voltage source. 
is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus t divided by tau, or it's equal to rc. But your question is, okay, so this is a simple circuit, okay? Uh, what happens if I change the circuit? So is it going to be still be yes? Of course not. So instead, what you should do is you should compute the steady state voltage of the capacitor V infinity, okay? Uh, and since initial condition equal to zero, you can use this as a formula when computing step response of a first order circuit, specifically uh, RC circuit, uh, under the condition that initial condition is equal to zero. Okay, so compute tau, okay, which is the uh, time constant, then compute V steady state, which is equal to V infinity. We already know how we you know, uh, compute uh, steady state voltage. And then you can simply use this formula. You don't need to uh, remember the solution of the differential equation. So it is uh, the technically uh, simplifies uh, computations, especially uh, in the midterms. Okay, good. But, okay, that's nice. So what happens if I change the initial condition? Okay, good. So let's remember our solution. Okay, here. So our solution is this. Okay, so uh, V of T is equal to Vs, which is particle solution. So we have the same circuit, plus C e to power minus T divided by tau. Okay, so V of T is equal to V infinity, because V S is equal to V infinity in the circuit. So plus C e to power minus T divided by tau. Okay, but now we know that V0 is equal to a voltage in each condition, which can be given or we can compute from other uh, sources. So in that sense, okay, V0 is equal to V infinity plus C is equal to V naught. So what is C? C is equal to V0 minus V infinity. So if we compute the everything, we will find that okay so vc of t is equal to this v infinity plus v0 minus v infinity e to power minus t divided by tau okay so this is a general step response of a first order circuit so why it's general first of all your initial condition can be anything okay so what you need to know though is so initial condition okay you need to compute or label the initial condition can be given uh, in the problem, or we may want you to compute the initial condition. Okay, then steady state value of the capacitor voltage, which is equal to V infinity in this case. Okay, then compute tau. You can use this formula to compute uh, the time trajectory of the capacitor voltage. As you can see, uh, at the t is equal to zero, we have an initial condition which is equal to V zero. Okay, as time is passing, uh, it is like technically uh, exponential, but one minus exponential, and it reaches in Vs at t is going to infinity, but uh, it reaches like faster when uh, t is close to zero. So it is like speed will close down and uh, eventually it will reach the infinity. So this is like a classical step response behavior of a first order dynamical system. Okay, so actually uh, computation of step response is uh, very similar to what we did already uh, in the initial conditioning case.